हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज संदीप कुमार सिन्हा वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय चैनल विथ अ न्यू टॉपिक पर्सनल इनकम एंड पर्सनल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम लेट्स स्टार्ट द टॉपिक पर्सनल मींस दैट इज रिलेटेड टू एन इंडिविजुअल पर्सन और हाउस होल्ड्स एंड इनकम मींस अमाउंट ऑफ मनी रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम ऑल द सोर्सेज दैट इज अर्न इनकम एज वेल एज अनअर्न इनकम thus how can we define the personal income the personal income may be defined as the sum total of that is earned income earned income means factor income and transfer incomes received by an individual person or households from all the sources within and outside the domestic territory which is i have written on this board it is the definition what is the personal income it is the sum total of factor income as well as the transfer incomes received by individual households from all the sources within and outside the domestic territory that is personal income here it is worth mentioning that personal income is very much different from the private income it is not the same as private income it is very much different from per private income why because the two components that is number 1 profit tax and number 2 that is undistributed profit not included in personal income why these are not included in personal income because profit tax that is paid to the government treasury out of that profit earned by any producing firm it is not received by any individual person similarly undistributed profit is also not received by an individual person it is simply retained by the producing firm that is company it is not paid to an individual person and that's why these two components are not included in personal income and therefore personal income is different from the private income then the question arises how do we calculate the personal income it is just calculated by deducting these two that is profit tax and undistributed profit from the that is private income private income mein dono ko ghata denge profit tax aur undistributed profit to hame kya milega that is called as personal income first formula as per the definition means it is different from private income why because these two components are not included we simply deduct these two components from the private income and then we get personal income now this term private income i described already this topic in my previous video means what is private income how can it be calculated the link for the description link is already given in the description you can go through those topics and you know, which is given in my description those links the so private income how can it be calculated it was already described that is private sector income jo mara tha ya first component second component nfia just recall back what is private income how was it calculated private sector income plus nfia and plus all current transfer incomes the sum total of these three we get the private income when I mean, this is the private income part this is sum total of the three minus profit tax this is a profit tax minus undistributed profit then also we get the personal income means this is the first definition to calculate or to find out personal income this is the second calculation that is to calculate the private yes yeah, sorry per personal income personal income ko calculate karne ka first formula hamara kya ho gaya from private income after deducting profit tax and undistributed profit second formula we get the sum total of private sector income the net factor income from abroad and all the current transfer incomes and then we deduct profit tax and undistributed profit from this sum total to get again the pf personal income and that is second formula third formula this is the third formula to calculate this is private sector income suppose it is not given in the question i already mentioned in my previous video okay just go through that link that is given in the description ndp at fc that is domestic income just we deduct public sector income from this domestic income then we get this 
प्राइवेट सेक्टर इनकम बिकॉज प्राइवेट सेक्टर इनकम प्लस पब्लिक सेक्टर इनकम द सम टोटल ऑफ द टू इज इक्वल टू डोमेस्टिक इनकम दैट इज एनडीपी एंड एफ सी तो सिंपली डिडक्ट दिस पब्लिक सेक्टर इनकम फ्रॉम द डोमेस्टिक इनकम टू गेट दिस प्राइवेट सेक्टर इनकम एंड द सेम ऑन दिस इज एन एफ आई ए ऑल करेंट ट्रांसफर इनकम ऑल दिस एडिक्ट टू गेट टू गेट द प्राइवेट इनकम एंड देन माइनस प्रॉफिट टैक्स and on distributed profit we again get back the that is personal income now look at here the fourth one whenever we get the sum total of these two what do we get national income that is nnp at fc this is nnp at fc now minus public sector income the same part all current transfer incomes look at here current transfer incomes profit tax minus undistributed profit then also we get personal income means this is the fourth one so we get the four formula to calculate personal income first one was from this private income after deducting profit tax and undistributed profit we get personal income second one we simply we add private sector income net factor income from abroad all current transfers and then we deduct the profit tax and undistributed profit to get personal income third one that is domestic income and just we subtract the public sector income that is adding nfia and all all current transfer incomes and then deductions of these two that is profit tax and undistributed profit we get that is personal income and the last one we calculate it from the national suppose national income figure is given in the question then what do we do we simply deduct the public sector income transfer incomes are to be added and these two the profit tax and undistributed profit are to be added to get the personal income that there are total four formulas to calculate personal income and whatever is given in the question according to the requirements or given information in the question you have to find out the personal income now some question this personal income earned by any individual person that is gross total personal income of an individual person is not spent by the individual person on the expenses or on the consumption of the goods and services ke liye jo bhi wo hamara खर्च करता है पूरा पूरा इनकम खर्च नहीं करता है बिकॉज ऑफ द सर्टेन लैबिटीज ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन दो एक्सपेंसिस विच ही सिंपली इनकम और विच आर बॉन्ड बाय द इंडिविजुअल पर्सन दैट इज नंबर वन इज इनकम टैक्स दैट इज पेड बाय द इंडिविजुअल पर्सन wealth tax दैट इज पेड बाय द इंडिविजुअल पर्सन देर आर सर्टेन फीस फाइन्स पेनाल्टीज which goes to the treasury of the government that may be termed as miscellaneous receipts of the government that every individual person somehow pays so after deducting all those that is fees fines penalties income tax etc what is left that is termed as personal disposable income thus what we learn that what is personal income sum total of the factor income and transfer incomes of an individual person for all the sources within and outside now that gross personal income is not spent that is spent in the form of suppose taxes the person has to pay income tax wealth tax to the government and other fees fines penalties are also paid to the government treasury all those deductions means after making all those deductions from the personal income whatever is left that is called as personal disposable income means what is the amount available with that person to be spent on the purchase of goods and services or any other activity that remaining portion of the personal income is said to be personal disposable income but the jo income kamata hai wo uska gross income hai aur usme se jitna sara kharch karne ke baad matlab tax fees fines penalties dene ke baad jo bach jata hai kisi bhi individual person ke paas wo us person ka kehlata hai disposable income matlab that part of personal income which is actually disposed of matlab jo actual mein kharch karta hai means which is available with the individual person to spend on consumption 
एंड अदर एक्टिविटीज मीन जो भी सामान खरीदने पर या कोई और एक्टिविटीज पर खर्च करने के बाद वो जो हमारा खर्च पैसा कब बचता है सारा टैक्स वगैरह देने के बाद जो बचता है दैट इज कॉल्ड एड पर्सनल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम मीन्स व हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट पर्सनल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम जस्ट डिडक्टिंग दिस पर्सनल दैट इज ये टैक्सेस हाउ दिस पर्सनल इनकम जो था हमारा वो टोटल ग्रॉस इनकम इसमें सम टैक्स को और ये मिसलिनियस जो रिसीव जो गवर्नमेंट का इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फीस फाइन्स पेनल्टीज दीज आर डिडक्टेड to get the personal disposable income now one thing is to be mentioned here if personal income is zero and the miscellaneous receipts in the form of fees fines penalties is also equal to zero then this is the most important relationship that we have to remember means personal income is always equal to the personal disposable income dono barabar kab hoga जब हमारा पर्सनल टैक्स और जो रिसीट्स जो गवर्नमेंट को मिलता है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फीस फाइंस पेनल्टीज किसी इंडिविजुअल पर्सन का अगर वो जीरो होगा देन द पर्सनल डिस्पोजेबल एंड पर्सनल इनकम बोथ आर इक्वल नॉट इट सपोज द एनुअल इनकम ऑफ एनी पर्सन इज इक्वल टू थ्री लैक्स रुपीज एंड द पर्सनल टैक्स इज वर्थ रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड एंड द मिशन रिसीट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट दट इज इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड then the personal income that is the total amount annual income that is 3 lakhs rupees but how far can we calculate the pdi that is personal disposable income means the deduction of these two amount 10000 and 2000 then what we get here that is 2 lakhs 88000 that is the personal disposable income but the 3 lakhs that is 3 lakhs rupees this is the personal income now the calculation of personal income and personal disposable income but suppose these two are equal to zero then what to be find that is the personal disposable income and the personal income both become equal to this 3 lakhs rupees means dono barabar kab hoga jab ye hamara personal tax bhi zero hoga aur receipts jo miscellaneous receipt jo government ka hai in the form of fees fines penalties वो भी इक्वल टू जीरो होगा नाउ वन थिंग हियर आल्सो टू बी मेंशनड हियर दैट पर्सनल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम जो भी हमारा इनकम है विच इज एक्चुअली डिस्पोज ऑन द एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ ऑन द कंजम्पन एंड अदर एक्टिविटीज दैट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू कंपोनेंट वन इज पर्सनल कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर आल्सो कॉल्ड एज हाउस होल्ड कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर एंड अनदर वन इज द पर्सनल सेविंग्स दस पर्सनल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम इज द सम टोटल ऑफ पर्सनल कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज हाउस होल्ड कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर एंड पर्सनल सेविंग्स दैट इज हाउस होल्ड सेविंग्स तो अब तक हमने देखा कि वट इज पर्सनल इनकम वट इज पर्सनल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम हाउ दीज टू कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड वट आर द फॉर्मूलाज टू कैलकुलेट पर्सनल इनकम एंड पर्सनल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम नाउ सपोज Domestic income is given so far as measurement of national income is concerned in income method. The first calculation is NDP at FC with domestic income. Then how to calculate the personal income and personal disposable income from domestic income? Now look at the chart that I have just drawn on the board. How to get it? Just memorize it. It is very very easy to find out the personal income and personal disposable income. using this flow chart this is the domestic income ndp at fc suppose it is given in the question or not given then you can just get the total of compensation of employees operating surplus and mixed income to get the ndp at fc now just subtract this public sector income from this ndp at fc then we get the private sector income now add these two that is nfia and all the current transfers to this private sector income then what we get this is private income and then again deduct these two that is profit tax and undistributed profit from this private income then we get personal income and just after deducting these two that is personal taxes and the business receipts of the government what we get 
that is personal disposable income and again personal disposable income is divided into two component that is personal consumption expenditure also called as household consumption expenditures and personal savings that is a simple chart to find out the personal income and personal disposable income from ndp at fc that is all about personal income and personal disposable income 